Uh, so our theme now is going to be balancing complex half reactions. You have to read test questions or quiz questions really carefully, whether it says balance the following reaction or balance the following half. So if you look at a question that might be under the complex category of molecules, it could be a full, which we did already, or a half. The difference is that when you balance the electrons, if you look at our steps, the electrons are now at the very end of the process as opposed to being balanced at the first. And we don't actually balance the electrons, we just add them in. I do see students sometimes they go too quick and they, I say balance uh, the full and then they put electrons in, which they shouldn't. They should be gone in full, they should show up in halves. So I'm going to balance when nitrous acid, uh, nitrous acid can be reduced in acidic solutions to form nitrogen uh, mon monoxide gas. And I want to balance this and prove whether it's an oxidation or reduction. So I took the word equation and got the pieces out. So nitrous acid is HNO2. Nitric is what you're more used to, the HNO3 to form nitrogen monoxide, so I pull that down. We're told it's acidic, but we don't know whether the H plus is a reactant or a product, so don't put the H plus in right away. We'll get to that in the appropriate step. Same wording as before, balance atoms other than O and H. So that's just nitrogen. I have one N on each side, so I don't have to do anything new for this step. Next, we're doing the same thing we did with water in complex full reactions. Add uh, hydrogen, add water to balance O. Let's make up. So how much oxygen do we have? We've got two at the beginning in our reactant. We only have one at the end in our product. So I have to add uh, one water to the product side to get this up. This is the side that's low and I needed to go up to two. So one water takes care of our oxygen. Hydrogen, so it's two and one, I will write this out. One at the beginning, so I need to bring that one side up to two. So I added H plus to the beginning, okay? So we're consuming acid, we're not producing acid in this particular question. We're driving the pH up as the reaction goes on. Now we've got this last step that you haven't seen before. Uh, we need to add electrons to balance any charges. So I'm gonna switch to red and I'm tracking charges now, not oxidation numbers. And I'll have a charge table. And we're going to add electrons to get the charge the same. It doesn't have to be zero, it just has to be identical. So HNO3, that's a molecule. There's no charge to a molecule. We've got H plus, one of them. So that's plus one. We've got a molecule, no charge there. We've got another molecule, no charge. So uh, at the beginning, we've got zero and plus one. So we've got plus one total on the reactant side. The product side, we have two neutral molecules. We have no uh, charge there. Now we've got to add electrons to get these two numbers to be the same. When we add electrons, does it drive the numbers up or down? Yeah. Electrons are negative. So we're going to drive something down. Well, I can't add to the low side. I'd never bring it to the high side. You always add electrons to the high side. Okay? And now you could have minus two and minus three. You'd still have to add to the high side, which would be minus two, would be higher than minus three. So add to the high side and bring it down. So we're going to bring the plus one down to zero by adding one electron on the reactant side because that's the high side. 
So we're going to add one electron, and I'm not going to write the one. We don't normally write ones like I put in here. Okay. I have now balanced the charge by adding an electron. And I verified the original question said this was a reduction. And yeah, we added an electron to the reactant side. We gained electrons. This is balanced. This is a balanced half reaction. It's a complex half. Let's look at a, a few more. Again, hopefully you don't see this as a totally new skill. It's based off our previous skill. So permanganate turning into just manganese ion. So I don't have the steps anymore, but the similar steps to deal with electrons at the end. So it's key that we're balancing half reactions, not full. You're not trying to find OAs and RAs. You're only going to find one or the other, not both. So balance atoms other than O and H is first. Well, we have one MN and one MN, so nothing to do in the first step. What comes next, oxygen or hydrogen? Oxygen. Okay, if you try to do it out of order, we don't even have hydrogen yet, so it wouldn't even work here. Uh, we have to balance our O with water. We've got four O's there, so I'm going to need four waters to balance out the charge, to balance out the oxygen. Uh, now we do hydrogen. We have four pairs of hydrogen on the product side, so that's eight. So I'm going to have to add eight H plus. So this is another half reaction that has acid as a reactant. Last, we add electrons to balance the charge. We've got to find the high side and bring it down. Uh, we've got lots of charges now. Let's see. Uh, minus one, and there's one of them, so minus one in total. Uh, here we've got eight plus one, so that's plus eight in total. So minus one and plus eight is plus seven for our total charge. Our product side, we've got two plus and neutral. So our high side is this side, the reactant side again. We're going to need five electrons to drive that plus seven down to plus two. So we have to add five electrons. Now, where I came up with this example, all of these I stole from your data table. If you look at this third reaction in your data table, the third half reaction, I just took the permanganate and the manganese, and I stripped out the H plus, the electrons, and the water, and we just predicted them. That's where these came from in our table. Okay? Experimental data shows that these are the reactions, and our steps uh, predict these. Uh, so perchlorate becoming chloride. So we start with balancing atoms other than O and H. That's Cl, and that's 1 and 1, so that's good. Then we balance oxygen with water, for water again. By adding four water, we got eight H plus, eight hydrogen. So I'll balance my hydrogen by adding eight H plus to the reactant side, the opposite to water. And then I've got to balance my charge. So we have a minus one ion plus eight again. So this is similar pattern to the last one. We have plus seven again on the reactant side, product side, minus one, and neutral. So minus one on the product side. So this isn't exactly the same as the example I just did. I need to take the high side, which is the seven, 
and bring it all the way down to minus one, that's an eight electron difference to get that down to the minus one. So I add in eight electrons. And I balance this complex half reaction. So these are a lot quicker questions. When you get to a test and I ask you to balance a full, that's three, four minutes. I ask you to balance a half, I hope you do it in a minute or less. So this last one I would uh, like you to do, and I'll put the answer up in a minute. Manganese dioxide becoming the two plus manganese ion. So let's see if you got what I got. Start with balancing the MN one and one, so that's fine. Balance the oxygen with water. There's two O's at the beginning, so I need two water. Yeah, the state is liquid. Uh, H plus, well, there's only H plus and hydrogen in the water, so there's two pairs, that's four. Four aqueous H plus ions. Last, I've got to balance the charge. Let's see, we've got zero and four plus ones. So plus four, plus two, and zero. So plus four and plus two. So the high side needs to go down to, that's the reactant side again, plus two electrons. So that's our balanced complex half reaction.